yeah i use this edge right here control but i don't like it because i don't care what i do my edges do not lay and slay like this me say if your edges ain't on with fleet you ain't complete so i'm not complete right now because these edges, I don't know what kind of edge control. I had asked y'all in the comment section to let me know what's the good edge control. So right now I'm just using this, and this is my edge control. This is uh the eco style gel, but baby, it's not working. I don't know what 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 kind of edge control I'm gonna have to get because it don't work. It do not work at all. Even me and my daughter, we purchased two of the little small ones, just like I just showed y'all. We purchased two. I used hers and tested hers out. It still didn't work. And me and her the same way. Our edge control do not last with our hair. And I don't know if I'm, because I'm not holding it down, like putting a scarf on it. But even when I do that, it still don't lay down and hold. I don't know what it is. But I just make do with what I do. Because after a while, I'm going to, end up taking these out my braids and put some smaller ones in because i um uh, have to have my edges hanging when i have my braids i have to have my edges because i know it y'all know it i have a little big forehead i heard i had to try to put the little in it i have like a big little forehead so I got to have some kind of edges on it. I got to have my edges on him because the mold that forehead, honey. I know I have a big forehead. Y'all know it, but yeah, wait. I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute with my forehead, honey. I don't care. It used to be a time I was so... um. Self-conscious on my forehead, self-conscious on my teeth, you know, because I have a little chip too, but every time I get it fixed, it breaks back off, but, you know, I'm like, what the heck? What the hell? That's what I want to say. What the hell? It is me. It's me. Because guess what? Y'all, I'm not good with edges. I'm not good with laying them edges, honey, down. But I said, like, what the heck? Even my daughter said that she was like, everybody you look at, don't take this in any kind of bad way, what I'm going to say. But she was like, everybody you see, everybody's teeth look the same because everybody going to the same dentist. And I went to another dentist, like a real, when I say expensive dentist, I mean like, I went to this dentist and they um did like the little pictures and everything how they do with your teeth and they was like you have beautiful teeth i'm looking at them like okay thank you because me i always you know say oh i need to get my teeth fixed and then sometime when i be like talking to certain people or meet certain people i be looking at them and then and i be like saying thank you jesus because sometimes some people teeth be messed up worse than yours and you be down on yourself so bad and you be like my teeth look better than nails but i just thank god i have some but i would have to get you know like some um the dentist told me i would have to get some braces because if i keep breaking the chip tooth it don't make sense to fix it and um what's the name so i was just like whatever it's me you know at least i'm walking around with my natural teeth 
I ain't trying to down y'all, but hey, I'm happy y'all was able to get y'all teeth fixed. But I want to be just look different. You know, when I smile, I don't want to look like I went to the same dentist that everybody else did. And like I tell y'all, don't take this in a bad way that I'm talking about somebody because to each his own, you know, everybody. But do what they do to make they self look good, just like I'm putting on these little eyebrows. And I'm going to go into details with things that I always used to be so self-conscious about. But I had to ask God to, y'all, I'm not good with makeup, so I just kind of fill this in with a little eyebrow pencil because I don't wear makeup and it just pop out my uh, eyebrows a little, make them look a little fuller. But um, I used to be self-conscious because I didn't have no eyebrows, no real thick eyebrows. And what I do when I have like oil on my hand, really make it kind of blend in. I just do like this, honey, and keep it going. Like Jeannie Mama say, honey. I do like this and I just keep it pushing because God created us all to be different. He didn't create us to look like everybody. If we looked like everybody, how would we identify each other? You know, everybody walking around, we all may get the same hairstyle and stuff like that. But, you know, God didn't create everybody to look the same. Everybody needs to look different. So, when I talk and smile... I have a different um, identity of my teeth because that's the first thing. If somebody comes up missing or something happened, they identify you with your um, dent, you know, dentals, not dentals. <laughs> they identify you with your dental work. They go to the dentist and they, you know, if something come up with somebody like that missing, but I don't get in details because I don't know if somebody don't click on this and you could be going through this situation. But to make the long story short, I'm happy with my teeth now. I have accepted who I am and I just live my life and be happy. But, you know, it is what it is. This right here, y'all. I just spray this on my hair just to be spraying on the braids because it's safe and keep it from freezing. But my braids with my hair, I don't know for some reason, I guess because I have thin hair. People with thin hair, they braids start to freeze real quick. So, but it, um, we, we tend to have our hair. Well, I'm going to speak on me. I ain't going to speak on. Nobody else with um um thin coarse like thin hair like mine's but it seems to like my braids might last about two weeks if two weeks I'm gonna try something a little different today but um mine don't last too long so that's why I try not to really go and spend a whole lot of money anymore on my braids because on another um video video if y'all go watch it i don't need so many videos i can't keep up with myself but um i was explaining how i went and got my hair did and paid two hundred dollars and um and um uh, what else i say i'm trying to put my earring on i haven't worn no big earrings in some years y'all i will I don't need a little stuff, but, um, yeah, and my hair don't last long, so that's why I try not to spend a lot of money going and getting no braids no more because my hair don't last. It'll start freezing real quick. You'll see the braids will start, like, like my hair, you'll see my hair start, um, coming out the braids, so I don't know. Yeah, what y'all think? I look like one of them um, girls back in the days, honey. Like one of them girls back in the days, boo. Then, um, I, um, I don't have my little, what you call it in here. Y'all, I'm just talking to y'all, but I had got some of this little stick right here from CVS. Pay like. $14 for it. Y'all know why I want it. Because it's pink. 
it's okay. I really wish I could have just left it in the store, but what I might do, I might take it and um put some um like a clear gloss with it or something, but I don't like it's super super maybe I'm putting it on wrong because I'm not a lipstick woman. I'm not gonna say girl, I'm not a lipstick woman that wear a lipstick. But just because it's pink, I'll buy it. And I should have just left it in the store. Hope y'all can see it. I should have just left it in the store, but it's a real pretty hot pink color. It's real pretty. But the way it goes on, I don't like it. It's like, I don't know. It's not like a thick lipstick. It's more like a thin lipstick. So when you put it on, it's it's not, you know how some women wear the um lipstick and it goes on and you can, it's covering, it's, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not a person that wear lipstick, but I don't like it. I should have just kept it in the store. I spent all that money on it, but I'm going to try to wear, if I don't do nothing, but put it on with some, um, what you call this though? Lip gloss. I'm going to put it on a little bit and I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm not good at this, so don't laugh at me. I'm just a person that wear them. Um, do y'all see what I'm talking about? I mean, it might be okay to y'all. But me, I guess because I just do it the old-fashioned way. I don't line my lips. But mm, I don't like it. I don't like it. Something I'm going to have to figure out when I put it on. I don't like it, so. Mm, I don't know. I don't like it, but it should have stayed in the store. I just be buying stuff because it's pink, and I be like, oh, I like it. It look good. I'm going to get it. But I'm going to mix it with some lip gloss or something like that because at this point, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, y'all. Not at all. The color, I love the color, but uh-uh. I do not like it. Maybe it just probably don't fit me. Probably that could be what it is, and I'm not used to wearing that type of lipstick. But anywho... Yeah, but um, I don't know what's my plans for today. I know for one, I need to wash my clothes. My clothes need washing. Yeah, y'all yeah, see how I put my little, I put some artificial flowers in my, um, this is like perfume in here, oil. I put some, I bought some pink sugar from the beauty supply store and I just put me some of these little cute little pink flowers in it. And just this is how it look. So if y'all want to try this, y'all can. I thought it was real cute. But this is the pink sugar oil, which you get from the beauty supply store. I um it come in a little roll bottle. And what I did, I just opened up the roll bottle and I just took it and pulled it in here. And what I do when I want to put on me a little bit, I just I don't even have to skirt it on it and I do like this. Put it on my little wrist. And do it like that. I might put it on when I get out in the tub or the shower at night. And I just leave it sitting on my on the counter on the sink. And it smells good. You can put whatever kind you want. And these kind of jars, I never throw these jars away. If I purchase something with these jars from the store, and once I used up all my product, I don't never throw them in the trash. I have a couple of these. These right here, you can, if you go on Amazon and purchase the price of these jars, they are very expensive. So if y'all purchase something with this, the product that's in it, and once you get through, just rinse it out, wash it, let it air dry out, and reuse these because these cost money. I'm not throwing them away. I used to, but I don't know more. And I have one. I know y'all probably like, but I just be like and see y'all a little different stuff. 
I have one right here. I purchased this one from Dollar Tree. But this is not lavender or oil in him. This is the Dr. Tills. Um, what you call it? I, I can't think of it. It's a Dr. Tills spray that I have that I um, put in here. And you can put this on when you get out the tub. I can't think of the name of it. It's, and I do like this one because it's brown. And they say the less, the less light goes into the bottle and keep it fresh for a very long time but i just be keeping y'all up on my secrets it's kind of hot today i'll be keeping y'all up on my little secrets because like i told y'all i'm trying to get so used to um filming and doing stuff to make y'all you know watch my videos <laughs> but and while we talk about bottles this right here y'all this is a keeper um, I had an earache one time a couple of months back and I went to um, Publix and I purchased 100% pure natural sweet oil. All you do is just take a few, you, you sit it down in a little bottle of warm water and you go to the pharmacy and pick it up. They're not going to have it out on the shelf. I purchased it from Publix and you just go to Publix and tell them you want to purchase the sweet oil. And it read on the instructions and it have the little thing on um, the little droplet. And you just drop like a couple of drops in your ear and put a cotton ball. It's best to do it when you woke because at night if you go to sleep and you put the sweet oil in your ear, guess what? It ain't going to do nothing but drain out because you're laying this way or that way. So it's best to do it when you up and about walking around up. So it can stay draining down in your ear. And it stopped my ear from hurting. My grandmama used to learn us all about all that. You put the sweet oil in your ear when you have an ear infection. And if it do not stop, it's time for you to go to the doctor. But yeah, Publix. Y'all see it on here, say Publix. And I didn't have to have a um, prescription for it. You just go ask for it. And I think it was like, you know, like $10. It's kind of high for this little bottle, but... Anytime I get like an ear, like my ear hurt, or if I feel like it's something to do with my sinus, because you know your sinus drain into your ears and your throat and everything, I use that. But I just be keeping y'all up on my little secrets of things that I do, but I'm not going to hold y'all up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my videos. And yeah, I'll probably see y'all probably in the next one. So, y'all have a great day. Bye.